drive us there, mm -hmm. wire to your home. Mm -hmm. A big meeting. You know. <laughs> You're right. going to get a lot of swearing until I get this. I heard about uh, the Ocean Recovery and the work that they're doing in the, uh, in the South Pacific and I thought it was something that I'd like to become involved in. Hi, I'm Peter. I'm one of the volunteers here on board the Ocean Recovery. I have a bit of a background with computer networking. Uh, both myself and David Tonks, the other volunteer working in the IT department here, have spent about the last 12 years working with Computer Bank and other various uh, charitable based computer organisations. We've learnt an enormous amount about networking, which we've used that knowledge to convert the fibre optic network to Ethernet. All of these hatch through to the fibre net boxes in the various cabins. Our first task was to identify uh, which terminal related to which cabin. The modem, which is mounted here, is the beginning of the wireless network and, and wired network. The cables take it from the modem to the media converter. The media converter converts optic fibre into standard Ethernet and so we're able to connect Ethernet devices throughout the rest of the ship. Behind and connected to the modem is a two terabyte drive which provides backup or data storage to anyone on the network anywhere in the ship. The scope of the work was to establish a, a wireless uh, internet network on board primarily down in the engine room so the engineers could use a, a computer based engineering management system called MEX. We're mounting the, uh, the fibre optic media converter and a little ethernet switch up on the wall out of the way. We, uh, we're governed by the position of this fibre net box which is the uplink of the, uh, the fibre optic backbone from the, uh, from the switch downstairs. I've been offered donations of computers that I haven't been able to place at the time that I came here. Four HP all-in-ones and three Panasonic Toughbook will be able to be used with MEX. We've got to the stage now where the, the network is up and running. We now have a shipwide wireless access. Moving on from here, the next phase of our operations will be to introduce the MEX engine management system. So we'll be working in conjunction with the engineers to, uh, to investigate what is required from a hardware and a software platform to get that system up and running.